Hello, so I'm Ritambra and I'm studying uh, hate speech on uh, Facebook particularly. Um, and I just want to underscore first uh, what, uh, what the speakers ahead of me have uh, stated that um, in India, Facebook is absolutely not bothered in taking down hateful content despite it going against its policies. Um, yesterday, we had a report coming out from Times and we shared some of our evidence with the time um, on what we found on Facebook. And I would like to show you uh, this evidence as well. So when it comes to Facebook, since last one year, we have been tracking Facebook pages, which are actively spreading genocidal hate towards Indian Muslims. And uh, uh, we categorize these pages based on their influence, their type of narrative and their links to the real world potential of gathering mobs and you know um, uh, calling for mob lynching kind of activities most of uh, most of the times these actors are actually using Facebook live to gather such mobs uh, the image that you see on my screen is just the interaction from one such list that we created so we had over 500 pages um, and this list that I'm showing you has only 27 pages and they have generated a video view of over 1 billion uh, views in the last two years time period. So you can see how intense this problem is in India. Uh, what kind of things is, is this um, narrative building and what kind of things uh, these actors are sharing? Uh, if I can walk you through that perhaps, um, Sorry, I'm just going to press on this. Um, so this is like one of the fan pages of Pushpendra Kulshreshtha. Some of you might recognize him with this picture. Uh, there, it's a fan page. It's not a verified page of Kulshreshtha himself. He's considered to be a Hindu philosophical philosopher guide sort of a thing. And uh, in this particular post, which is not very old, you can see it's 14 minutes ago, actually. Uh, it was from yesterday uh, when I got it in my email box uh, saying that this post is doing really well. That means um, it is performing better than most face Facebook posts and you can see it's performing four times better than most of the Facebook posts. Um, in this particular post, Pushpendra Kulshreshtra is basically asking, saying that if you don't have sound in your speech, if you don't have weapons in your hand, and if you don't have love of your religion, then it is not a worthwhile life. And then he's saying Jai Shri Ram. Uh, moving on, uh, such kind of incitement, celebration of uh, harms caused to Muslims are quite often seen in this particular Facebook page, which by the way, has been highlighted to Facebook, also highlighted to the Facebook's policy head in the UK um, that this is a problematic page. In this uh, second page, page also uh, post doing very well, uh, Facebook said that, uh, it is celebrating uh, a bomb blast which happened in a Muslim's house who was uh, uh, making crackers for Diwali. Um, and uh, it is, it is. you can see the use of emojis, you can see the use of uh, comment section in such posts. And it is uh, in some ways celebrating the, um, the harms caused to this Muslim family, uh, whoever they were. Um, another post uh, of a similar page, uh, which is a Yati Narsinghanand fan page. Uh, and Yati Narsinghanand, for those who do not know, he is being uh, marked as, at least by one um, organization, as a person, as an extremist, as a Hindu extremist. And over here, he is just mocking in the top post, he's mocking about how some lost Hindus burned the mosque in Tripura and uh, uh, Allah, the God was absconding for four days. That was um, four days ago that this happened. Um, and you can see the use of emojis. Once again, you can see like uh, ha ha emojis and the heart emojis over here. You don't see anger emojis or other emojis over here, uh, which may perhaps communicate to you how, how intense these problems are. Uh, and how they are being perceived by the by the people living in India or people uh, following these pages. Another another um, post from the same person's another fan page 
says that uh, wherever Quran or Hadith is being taught in the world, uh, such places should be shut down. And this is a statement made by Narsing Nar Anand Kiri. And once again, what I really want to drive home is the fact that this Facebook post is doing really well. So the statement that Facebook makes that it is going to reduce um, uh, interactions on a post or it's going to curtail the content from being so seen, that is not really happening. Not just they are not um, uh, removing the hate speech, but they are their algorithms are um, amplifying this hate speech on, on the platform. Um, as I said, that we made a lot of lists uh, based on different kind of actors which were in this list. And uh, you can see uh, on the growth side of these lists, and this is the data from the Facebook's own tool, CrowdTangle. So thanks Facebook for providing us CrowdTangle. Uh, but you can see um, that almost every page or has or every every list and each of these lists has multiple pages of course every list has shown certain level of growth except the rss because of course in the last couple last 12 months rss has been uh, talked about a lot uh, in context of facebook so you can see rss has a reduced growth rate but all the other pages uh, has a really high growth rate, especially the 27 pages that we uh, picked up, which I showed you, which had 1 billion uh, views. It has uh, 1,000 plus growth rate, almost touching to 2,000 plus growth rate in the past. Um, so uh, then I also wanted to uh, basically share something uh, very critical over here because this this video I put I have flagged it and I have also shared it with the Facebook that this video is really problematic because in this live video which was streamed live uh, you can see it says uh, at different places live stream at go stream so this video was stre uh, streamed live uh, into several of these groups. And you can see perhaps that it says 7.8 million total views, uh, 32 million total views, 2.6 million views. Um, in this particular video, um, maybe Rati, can you, if you can, I, I don't know, uh, maybe our audience doesn't understand Hindi, but um, in this particular video, Yati Narsingh Nath is actually saying that my only goal in life is to exterminate Islam and kill Muslims. And I fail to understand that how this is not hate speech, rather not a genocidal hate speech, and it is still there on Facebook's platform. The first time this video was shared was in 2019, and now in 2021, this video is still in circulation. And it is being shared even on the pages of uh, BJP political candidates. So um, that is all I would like to show uh, to you in terms of evidence and say to you, and uh, uh, perhaps we can discuss the rest in the question hours, question time.